Hello everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hurler, back with more of the last Federation. When we last left our plurality of heroes, things hadn't gone so well. The Acutians are now extinct. The Thraxians took them out. Um, and as much as we didn't like the Acutians, I didn't really want to see them dead. I would much rather have um, convinced them to join the Federation. But now we have an even bigger problem. The Burlests have become spacefaring, and they way, way outclass everybody. I mean, right now the biggest military in the system uh, is the Andors, followed by the Skylaxians. And it just doesn't compare. I mean, the Skylaxians can just deploy a lot more um, uh, fleets, but for the sheer uh, pow military power, nobody matches the Burlests. And I am trying to figure out how to um, how to deal with this? How to keep the bur the burlesque from uh, basically taking over the system? And I'm not quite sure how to go about it. Let's start by going to visit. Our reputation is neutral, pretty much. Um. Uh, this is not the page I want. Uh, Burlesque warlords. Burlesque are a mess. Like the Pelshians, they don't respond to credit. Uh -huh. Unlike the Pelshians, this isn't due to innocence. The Burlesque respond only to threats, violence, and bribes, which can turn into leverage against specific warlords. Just don't put all your stock in one warlord, as internal intrigues or wars can wind up getting your guy killed. Boy, that guy looks nasty. Yeesh. <clears throat> okay. Credit is useless here. You can bribe items by raiding pirate bases. Uh, purchase blackmail goods from Spy Probe Happy Evox. I have some of those. Both of these provide specific kinds of leverage. Each Spurless plant has two prime has a prime warlord and two secondaries that are vying for power. Occasionally, internal intrigues lead to accidents. The only thing that matters against Burlus ultimately is leverage. <clears throat> can gain this on specific on, gain this on specific warlords through the aforementioned ways. Okay, so the prime warlord is uh, Qtheg. Hydral filth! How dare you approach after everything you have done to deny us our rightful pl uh, place among the stars? So. So I can challenge him to a duel, which would make me the Burlesque Warlord if I win. Hmm. So if you lose, that's it. You're dead. If you win, then there will have to be a new Prime Warlord to replace this dead guy. Oh, okay, it won't be me. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> And then you'll have some major leverage over the next guy right from the start. A mixture of fear and respect and gratefulness to you for murdering his predecessor, I think. Gain 3,000 leverage with the Prime, prime Warlord, 300 with others. Whoa, big influence boost. Qtheg will die. Lots of leverage. <clears throat> some chance they can be convinced to join the Federation. Until you successfully duel a prime, there is no chance in Hades they're even going to consider any offers. Blackmail. You can gain 20 leverage. Uh, give incriminating evidence. You don't have any blackmail evidence that's useful right now. Let's see. Uh, what about Creedai? What can I do to you? Challenge to duel. Uh-huh. New secondary. 
Okay, so... <clears throat> by challenging these guys to duels, I can um, easily um, gain uh, influence. Is there a way I can tell how each feels about... No, they're all indifferent to me. <clears throat> um... Well, it's still early on the in the episode, so my last save isn't uh, very far away. So I'm going to challenge Rayton to a duel, um, and that should give me some influence. And maybe that will be enough for me to dissuade these guys from going to war. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Okay. 100 love to the prime war, 800 lovers, okay. Alright. Let's try it. Alright. You're up there. 89,000. Uh. 5,000. Okay, I way outclass this guy. So, <clears throat> uh, well, let's begin, shall we? Whoa. Let's see. I thought I got a new weapon, uh, scatter shot. Maybe I have to research it or something. Hit him with the energy blaster. Oh yeah, this guy's a pushover. Shields are down already. Gravity repulsor resists gravity, huh? Okay. Well then, let's take the minigun. So that did. 69. Oh, I see. Oh, actually, as far as Hull goes, he's way, way stronger than we are. So he has 5 million Hull. We have um, 300,000 Hull. The shields are not particularly impressive, and his weapons are kind of so so. Uh, a matter of dodging his shots. Let's see, I should probably get some distance. Yeesh. Okay, um... More power to shields, less weapons and engines. Woo! Okay. Keep going. Yike! This guy has a lot of different ways to attack. Let's keep moving around. My shields are recovering quite nicely. Hey, what's all this stuff coming from the right? Do they bounce around or something? Okay, so he's almost down to half health. Oh, 
okay, these these shots are curving. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Mm, I don't want to go that far out, actually. Eesh. This is... this guy has really weird weapons. Um... What is that? Really weird weapons. However, I don't think he has what it takes to, uh... beat our superior tactics. Really weird weapons. Look at all this. It's like synchronized swimming. Okay, less than one million health. <laughs> less than one million health. Okay. <laughs> A few more turns to do it. Let's see. I should probably try to keep my. Distance. Okay, and that's it for uh, Warlord What's His Face. All right. Well, hopefully that'll put the Burlus in their place. End combat. Special abilities unlocked. Ooh, shiny new toys for your flagship. You may think combat is easy now, but as the game progresses, it will get steadily harder. As combat becomes more tense, you may need to rely on an ever-growing list of special abilities, as well as the tech upgrades you already have been introduced, introduced to. Okay. <clears throat> Using special ability sacrifices a normal turn, and instead just use the ability, and whatever pre previous momentum your ship had is retained, so that you may drift some more, depending on how fast you're going at the end of your last turn. Okay. That said, special abilities all have a very powerful side effect. They cause an energy ring to burst out for your flagship, destroying all shots that come into contact with it. This is hugely useful in complex battles, yeah! You may find yourself using this secondary effect even when you don't need the specific main function of an ability. Cool. Flagship customization unlocked. There's a new customized flagship button right on your main solar map HUD. Clicking on the screen lets you choose which six specific abilities are assigned to your flagship, and which three guns are equipped too. Okay. <clears throat> As you progress through the game, you will unlock more guns and abilities. Excellent. Excess unequipped abilities are also useful. Whenever you use a animal from an ability on your bar during the battle, a new unused ability in the same category is swapped in after 30 turns, if there is one. Except for operational abilities, which can't be swapped in that manner. Okay. <clears throat> ammo? Oh yes, abilities have both ammo and a recharge time between uses. Don't worry, though. Ammo is completely restored after each battle, just like your health and shields. Your ship has the ability to make some pretty amazing stuff out of all the space junk you wind up creating during a battle. <laughs> okay. The black market has appeared on the solar map. Looks like you're no longer the only mercenary in the solar system. I'm not a mercenary! That's okay. There's some professional courtesy extended between all mercs, unless you find yourself on the wrong end of the bounty. It's nothing personal, you know. But you'll always be welcome to the black market, okay? There's a lot of stuff that you need that you can only get in the sky, in the sly, and the black market is where to go. Once you click the black market to visit it, you'll see the above button. That opens up whatever purchasing selling options are currently available to you. Okay. Mysterious Hydro Technology. <laughs> okay. Some of the details are just behind the closed doors, uh, are just behind closed doors trade and perfectly legit items. This is also a great place to pick up Hydro technology, in other words, guns and special abilities. It's also a great place to hire goons, which are essential to, essential to doing any sort of um, research or construction. There are also less savory options available if you're that sort. Okay. Okay, so I got leverage and influence. Okay. 
Uh. Huh. Ready yourselves, Evok. The jo oh, and show some wrath as opponent as an opponent in the war. Okay, so while I was doing that, the um oh boy, um the burlusts have sent everybody to attack the Evoks. Um, hmm. There is no way the Evoks are going to survive that. Uh, um. They have left their homeworld completely undefended. Uh... What was that? Oh, just the Evox uh, saying that um, they uh, are at war. Okay. Um. You know, this could essentially wipe out both of them. Because I know that when the Evox are cornered, which they absolutely are, they tend to blow up their planet. Um, and that may take the, um, that may take the burlesque fleet with it. I mean, that would eliminate um, two of the more problematic races in, at once, but that's not how I want my Federation to form. I want to unite everybody, if I can. But, um, I don't know if I can. Um... Stop attacking costs eh, a bunch of leverage. Hmm. It costs much more to attack another race than to stop attacking. <laughs> Jeez, enough already. Will you lay off it? I like those guys. Or something. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Okay, um, um, um. This is gonna take a little bit of desperate measures. Um, hey, uh, good buddies, good pals, Skylaxians. Um, can you, um, uh, could I convince you to, um, Attack the Burles? No, not yet. Hmm. I can't. Can I? Can I? Nope. So. <sighs> hmm. That is not going well over there. Um,
<clears throat> Do you know how awesome this is? Seriously, people ignore the power of insurgents. You can smuggle a pirate base with their troops into the planet and set them up as resistance fighters. Okay, if there are hundreds of millions of citizens on the planet, that's actually not that useful. But what if this planet just changed hands? What if a race was just declared dead because they lost their last planet? What if that race still has a pirate base? In that window of time, where the planet is weak, you can swoop in and bring the race back into the game. Or, you know, there are other uses. Anytime a planet changes hands in a way you don't like, you can try to make it change hands again, quickly in a way that you do like. Ooh, that's interesting. So, I'm not sure if I can do anything here. But... Can... Um... No, I guess I can't, um... Uh... I guess I can't do insurgents here. I guess it's too late, right? I don't see anything like that. I can learn technology though, huh? That's interesting. I do this. Anything I can do here? Style acts. Huh, that's interesting. Style acts. Ah, smuggling resistance fighters. Okay. <clears throat> the uh, Thraxians really won't like that. But uh, the Boreans and the Burlus will. Okay, uh, 10 million. Let's give it a try. Oh, smuggle at least one of your remaining 10 ships into the, um, hmm, drop zone. Right, um, hmm. This is going to be tricky. So each of these ships has a million people. So what do we got? Sniper turret. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Right, I have hit my episode limit, so I think I'm going to end here and resume this battle in the next episode. And hopefully figure out what to do about the uh, uh, Burlusts as well. Until then, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!